things in the Tox Croak here. I build up for the Flash Cannon and an amazing, amazing switch on the opponent's part. Registeel just to make it easier for the Altiris, so we bring in the Registeel. Amazing, amazing switch on their part to catch this Hydro Cannon in a really good spot. Bring in Alteria to catch what I hope is an Earthquake because I need both of these shields. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do upload daily PvP content. So please consider subscribing to the channel if that is of interest to you. And if you're a returning subscriber like Santos G, Thank you for the support. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a team built around Season 1 meta. With Season 3 here, the meta has sort of shifted somewhat. There isn't many Registeels, there isn't many Altarias, very little Swampert's. Obviously, Azumarill is still there, but in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a team built around those Pokemon and see if Season 1 meta can hang with the Season 3 meta shift. So let's get into the battles right now. Alright, so we are going to start this off with the Registeel lead, Swampert Altarian's Death Wink 01, going to lead Registeel into the Skarmory, obviously an amazing lead for us, and Skarmory has been very popular as a lead in general in Go Battle League. So opponent switched on to a Haunter here, and this kind of got me wondering, what exactly is the safe switch on this team? I bring in Swampert in this case because I know that Mudshot's going to be doing super effective to the Haunter, but... There isn't really a safe switch here, and I'm going to choose to let this go because I think it's a Shadow Punch. If it was a Shadow Ball, it obviously KO. Thing is, even though it's a Shadow Punch, I'm still going to have to shield the second one. The only thing about this is that it guarantees I'm going to get his second shield, and I'm going to preserve one of mine. So that was the idea there behind not shielding that Shadow Punch, and fortunately for us, it paid off. So we are going to lose switch advantage here, but we do have the shield. So I'm going to bring in the Altaria here, farm down this Haunter, and we're gonna probably have to shield one more charge move coming in here. And because of how much health he has, it's very likely that it's going to be a Shadow Ball. So we have to be very careful here. I'm gonna choose to shield this because we just cannot risk it being a Shadow Ball. It is a Shadow Ball, so we do shield it up and he switches out. Now because he switched out, that actually gives us a huge advantage here. Because now he's switch locked into Skarmory and I could bring in the Registeel. Had he not switched out and just let the Haunter die, we would have had a pretty difficult situation to come back from here, but because he actually switched out, we pretty much have this game under control, assuming his third Pokemon isn't a hard counter to Altaria. Obviously, it could be an Azumarill, so in that case, we'd be in big trouble here, but let's see how this plays out. I'm choosing, well, I have no shield, so I have no choice, actually, but nothing this Skarmory is going to throw at us is going to do anything to Registeel really. So I'm over farming here, over farming, trying to get to 100 energy before I throw here. We are pretty much at 100 energy now, I believe. Throw this Flash Cannon is going to KO the Skarmory. Opponent is going to let the switch timer come through. Now remember, he does have that Haunter with 1 HP. So opponent brings in the Tox Croak here. I build up for the Flash Cannon and an amazing, amazing switch on the opponent's part to know where we were in energy, catches this flash cannon onto the Haunter. Fortunately for us, we do have Altaria to pretty much destroy this Toxicroak. So despite the heroic sack swap there, it is not going to be enough to win this game and Altaria is going to finish it off. So as you can see there, pretty, pretty good win for us, did win the lead. Next matchup against Jonathan Kelly here. And we're gonna be leading the Registeel this time into a Shadow Machamp, so pretty much the absolute worst lead you could ask for with Registeel. Gonna switch out into Swampert here. And amazing, amazing switch on their part to catch this Hydro Cannon onto the Azumarill. So the opponents here in rank 9 are on point with the switches, so he doesn't have to burn a shield there. And Again, you can see here, we're in a pretty tough spot. I chose to let this go, which is very questionable. I knew it was an ice beam, that's why I let it go. But the reality is, is that I needed to win switch advantage here. So I had to burn both shields to have any chance at maintaining switch. So a uh, pretty, pretty questionable play there on my part. We do get one shield, but now we have to bring back in the Registeel. And the Machamp is pretty much going to be aligned with the Registeel here. Fortunately, we will get rid of this Azumarill, so that won't be a threat to the Altaria. But even a rock slide from a champ does a lot to Altaria. So at this point in the match, I was kind of thinking like, what exactly 
do I do in these safe switch scenarios? Because even if they safe switch into a zoom roll, what do I bring in? I can't really bring in Swampert because they'll have an energy lead if they switch first. And obviously I can't bring Alteria. So I sort of decided that maybe it's better if I switch Swampert to a zoom roll if I'm going to have Registeel in the lead for the current meta. So in the next matchup, we will switch Swampert out for a zoom roll and see if that plays any better. But heading back to this match, we're throwing the flash can here at the Azumarill. Obviously, I overfarmed a lot because I realized that his Azumarill was not running Hydro Pump. And that's a reason as to why Registeel is actually making a comeback this season in Great League. And it is largely in part to the fact that a lot of Azumarills actually are not running Hydro Pump. They're running Ice Beam Play Rough. And neither of those could really hit Registeel for super effective. So you do kind of need the Hydro Pump for that matchup. And here we get met by an Umbreon into Altaria. And this got me thinking again that maybe Dragon Pulse on Altaria isn't as necessary anymore because there isn't really any other Altarias to counter and Dragon Pulse isn't really doing super effective to anything. So probably Play Rough makes more sense if you're running Altaria for maybe this Umbreon matchup for example. Uh, better, better move to hit the Azumarill with I guess. I don't know, maybe Sky Attack does more DP against Azumarill actually. But we are going to look to switch out here into the Registeel. So we're going to catch this foul play. He's definitely going to have a second foul play ready. So I'm farming up energy for a sky attack. And then I'm going to switch out into Registeel here to catch this second foul play. And this should not KO the Registeel. But the Machap's going to come in and counter down before we get to a flash cannon. So nothing we can do there. Going to throw the sky attack here. Get the final shield from the Machap. But this game is pretty much over. Very difficult to come back from a Machamp hard counter into Registeel. And there's pretty much nothing we could do with this team when that happens. So I think bringing in the Azumarill here probably makes more sense as a safe switch. So we do switch it up for this third matchup here against 0825 Tyra. And we're going to leave Registeel once more into Obama Snow. So this is a pretty good lead for us. So they're going to switch out into Azumarill. And now I'm going to bring in my own Azumarill. So as you can see, this is a better matchup for me when they have the lead. And it looks like they actually got to seven bubbles here. So this could be a Hydro Pump. Nope, happens to be a Play Rough. Okay, so I'm going to go for our own Play Rough here. They did get an extra bubble in there. Very unfortunate. And we're going to throw this. So actually, because they're running play rough, this is a pretty tough situation for us. Because basically it means that they're probably going to win the mirror just because they had an energy lead by switching in first. So here comes another play rough. In this mirror match, Ice Beam could make sense just for the bait potential to kind of make up for that difference in energy. But as you can see, we don't have it here. So that is not a play for us. And here I decided maybe Maybe as Ice Beam is going to try to bait me, so let me let it go through. But even if it's play rough, I don't really want to shield because in the end, he's probably going to end up beating us anyways. So I just let it go down and bring in the Registeel here. It kind of is a little problematic because I would rather have Registeel on that in Obama Snow than the Altaria. Just because the Powder Snow is actually going to really hurt Altaria. But he brings in Galarian Stunfisk here, so this is a really bad situation for us to be in. I'm going to throw this Focus Blast. Pretty much our only win condition is this going unshielded, and it does. So now I am in a really good spot. Bring in Altaria to catch what I hope is an Earthquake, because I need both of these shields. It is an Earthquake, so that was a huge play on our part there to give us a win condition here. And he switches out into the Obama Snow, so I'm going to throw the Sky Attack. Obviously, he is going to have to shield this up. He does. And you can see Powder Snow is absolutely chunking away at Altaria. We are going to get to one more Sky Attack, though. So I should shield this up and get off this final Sky Attack here. And this should get the shield from Obama Snow. Fortunately for us, Registeel should be in a good position here because it does have relatively decent amount of health here to handle Obama Snow and we do have a shield still. So the main thing here is that the Galarian Stunfisk has energy, it likely has an earthquake ready in the back so I cannot shield anything from Obama Snow here. I have to save that shield for the Stunfisk. So I'm gonna have to farm up a lot of energy here and when I'm 
pretty much at 100 energy. I'm gonna have to throw the flash cannon. So we're there now. Gonna throw the flash cannon here. This will KO the Obama Snow. And now the Galarian Stunfisk is going to come back in. It's gonna throw right away. Even if this is a rock slide bait, we have to shield here and hope that we could beat it to the flash cannon before it gets off its next charge move. And we are going to do that. So as you can see here, even though we did give up switch match in that mirror match, we were able to come back because of a timely switch onto the earthquake with Altaria and preserving a shield as a result of that. So we are 2-1, heading into the next match against Pete Nesh. And we're gonna be leading Registeel into Atropius, which obviously is an amazing lead for Registeel. So the opponent switches out, and I don't know if you caught that there, but he is running Razor Leaf on the Registeel. And I make two big mistakes here. One, I should have thrown the Focus Blast at the Smudgelax. It was a huge mistake not throwing Focus Blast, or at least the Flash Cannon at this Munchlax. I needed to apply pressure. So because I didn't do that, I switch into the Altaria, which was the second mistake. Because he's running Razor Leaf, I should have instantly switched into the Azumarill, especially after I didn't throw the Focus Blast. There's no point for me to bring an Altaria here, because Altaria hard counters that Razor Leaf Tropius, and Azumarill will get destroyed by it, and Azumarill would have a better matchup here against the Munchlax as well with two shields of course so uh, a couple of misplays there on my part we are going to be able to farm down here but we did give up one shield and we have no health literally on this altaria and basically you can bring in a hard counter to all this energy i've stored up now so it was pretty much just a huge misplay on our part on everything so far in this game so now he brings in the Registeel. I'm gonna bring in the Azumarill. He's gonna switch out to Tropius. I'm gonna bring in our own Registeel. And I'm gonna throw a Flash Cannon. But as you can see, Razor Leaf actually does still chunk away at Registeel. And we're gonna throw a Flash Cannon. And basically he's saving, he's trying to preserve health on his Tropius because he knows that he's going to need it for the Azumarill most likely. So he's using his shields here. One Flash Cannon isn't going to KO, but I would expect to see him use the second shield there. He's throwing his energy here because he wants the switch timer to come back up, right? He wants to switch out this matchup. So he's doing anything he can to waste time here. And throwing those charge rooms is going to allow him to do that. So I'm gonna let this go through again. And at this point, because I knew the switch timer was coming up, I actually was expecting him to try and switch out to catch the flash cannon onto his Registeel. But when I realized he wasn't going to actually do that, I just throw the flash cannon out. But that kind of cost me. Because now he switches out, I have to switch into the Azumarill here. And even though we have a shield, we're in a really tough spot. And I don't have Ice Beam either for that Tropius. So this is definitely like so bad. He got my Registeel down so low. So it's one of those situations where I was anticipating him to make the play into switching to Registeel. But he probably assumed that I thought he was going to do that. So he like counteracted that decision. And overall it was a really well played game by him. So he is going to throw the flash cannon here. And I'm going to let this go through, which was another mistake, obviously, because now one Razor Leaf is going to KO. And at this point, it's GG's. Even, even a play rough would have been nice to hit there, to be honest. So just a lot of misplays there. I lose with the shield and very, very poorly played game on my part. But GG's to the opponent. He played very well, given my mistakes. So Smash King 08 in the next matchup. Then lead Registeel into Hypno, and you can see Registeel is actually winning a lot of leads currently, and that's really good for us. So they switch out into the Azumarill. So what I'm gonna do here is throw this Flash Cannon first, just to ensure that the Azumarill Mirror match is a lot easier for me. This is something I wasn't doing in the previous matches, like the last match, for example, was horrible when I did not throw anything at the Munchlax. So the opponent's gonna throw here. They actually throw Hydro Pump, so this is even more dominance of a position for our Azumarill to be in because we have play rough. So I'm not worried about losing this mirror match. Obviously we have the health advantage, we have the move advantage. So this is a really good spot to be in. Gonna get to this play rough actually before he gets to the hydro pump. It might've been a CMP tie. Gonna throw the play rough here. This is going to KO the Azumarill unless he wants to shield, he does not. So Azumarill goes down. We are in a really good spot here. They bring back in the Hypno. Let's see if we could get a charge move off. We know they're gonna throw a Thunder here. 
so I do get the player off off. Obviously it would be nice to get to the Hydro Pump, but there's no way to get there before I Thunder Punch. So I am going to throw here. Thunder Punch should be coming through unless he decides to farm down. Which could have been a play, potentially, but he is going to throw the Thunder Punch here that's going to KO the Azumarill. And I am going to actually bring in Altaria here. And at this point, most people are not running Ice Punch, but I didn't want to risk it, so he throws Thunder Punch again. At this point, it kind of tells me he doesn't have Ice Punch, so I throw the Sky Attack. But when he chooses to shield the Sky Attack in this situation, basically what it tells me is that either A, he has a move that hits Altaria very hard, or B, he is very scared of Altaria in the back. So for that reason, I'm going to shield this no matter what it is, and commit to a farm that happens to be a Shadow Ball, would have done a decent chunk. And I'm going to farm up a lot of energy. And I'm pretty sure at this point he is weak to Altieri because of that shield without Ice Punch. And it happens to be a Scrafty. So I'm going to throw a Sky Attack here. And this is pretty much going to be game over. I'm going to try and catch this move onto the Registeel just to make it easier for the Altieri. So we bring in the Registeel to catch this move. And it is a foul play, so that would have knocked out the Altaria. At this point, basically, we could pretty much farm down, even though we're taking super effective damage. And the opponent is actually going to choose to back out of that game. So we do go 3-2 and two in this set, and we move up in rating. But I have tanked quite a, quite, not too much, uh, about 80 points ever since this set. And we're working our way back up now, so hopefully we can keep it going positive. So as you can see, Registeel actually is pretty good still in the Great League. It did get nerfed slightly, it wasn't really that big of a nerf, but what has happened without Registeel being used so often is that a lot of people are running Play Rough Ice Beam on their Azumarils, which has kind of opened the door again for Registeel to reappear. Now, with that said, there's also a lot of Shadow Victory Bells and Bastion on teams, which Registeel also does really good against, but there's also a lot of Shadow with Champs and a lot of fighters in general, which Registeel does struggle against. So it's kind of hit or miss as to whether or not Registeel will perform well on your team, but I do think it still has a place in the meta. And overall, this team did perform pretty well. Altaria, you know, it's it's kind of difficult for it to do so well, especially with all the Azumarils and Abomasnows and whatnot, but there is still some play for it. And obviously Azumarill, is always going to be good. And with Alolan Marowak, actually, Azumarill and Swampert both have a really good place in the meta currently. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.